Hey guys, Antonio here with another video on The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. And today we're gonna to be talking about how your excellent track record is meaningless to her. And before we get started, click that subscribe button down low, follow along with more videos like this, send straight to your inbox every single week. Let's get started. So, remember we got the masculine energy, the feminine energy, not necessarily pertaining to a male or a female, it's just what they're called. The person of masculine energy will tend to look at someone in a relationship based off of all of their actions, from the history of them knowing them, right? They take all their things into consideration. If they've done 80% good things and 20% bad things, they may think as the person is good. But if you're someone of feminine energy, the track record does not matter. And what really matters is the current moment. It's how they feel in the moment that really takes what the feminine makes decisions on based on how she feels or how he feels about the relationship at that time. So do not try pointing out your great track record. What will end up happening is, is the person of masculine energy will mess up with the person of feminine energy and they'll try to defend it with their track record. And what ends up happening is, is that doesn't work and the present is all that matters. History is completely irrelevant. Now let's take a look at how that may play out in real life. Babe, how do I look? This is appropriate? Honestly, you look okay, but probably should start hitting the gym a little bit. Are you kidding me? Honestly, like, that is so rude of you. That is so mean. I mean, since we've been starting dating, you've kind of got a little more round. That's so cruel. Why Why would you say that? Honestly, that is just mean. Like, that is, like, I'm getting ready and I'm all dressed up and you tell me I look round? Are you, are you getting mad at me right now? I, I mean, like, does anything I did in the past count at all? I bought you baked bouquet last week. I got you flowers this morning. I tell you you're beautiful all the time and now you're complaining about this one thing that I said? Are you serious? Okay, but you have to understand, you have to understand that just because you did all those other things, like, it doesn't cancel out what you just said. Like, you can't be rude now and think it's okay just because you did other things. Like, that was really hurtful, like, and I'm upset. I'm I don't even want to go to dinner. Fine, I don't want to go to dinner with you either. So, exactly, I was telling Soraya there that she needed to go to the gym, and that was not the nice thing to say. So, in the moment, she felt like I was not treating her correctly, right? But... The way you get around this now is not by talking about the history like I did in that video. That does not work. What you need to do is assume happiness. You need to shock the person with love and you need to make them smile and laugh. Be playful because the fact of the matter is, is that just as easily as the person forgot about all the good things you did, they will forget about the bad things you did just like that because it's what they feel in the moment. So you need to make them feel happiness in the moment by assuming happiness, that everything's okay, being happy and playful with the other person, shocking them with love, and then making smiles, making them smile and laugh. That is how you overcome this instead of pointing to your history. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the way of the superior man. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. For you to purchase a copy of this book on Amazon, make sure to check me out on Patreon. Any donation is much worth it. I appreciate it, guys. <clears throat> also, make sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Head over to my website and make sure that you remember that a chapter a day allows for success to make way. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.